is shaping up to be very nice at the beginning of Blues Fest and then getting pretty hot. <laughs> yes, so uh, the suggestion I give to everybody is start drinking your water now. You want to mm -hmm. stay hydrated. That way you can have a great time this weekend. As the summer sizzle once again starts to get underway, or some of us may be calling it the July Fry, as we expect to see those sunny skies through the Blues Fest, even on the 4th of July, expecting to see bright blue sunny skies with temperatures into the 90s. On the flip side, the summer bloom well underway. These are some of the red hot pokers that are starting to poke their head above the sand in the downtown Portland area. Despite their name, not actually that hot to touch as the pollen counts still our grasses are the culprit for a lot of those itchy eyes and sneezy noses as we expect to hold on to a high count through the rest of this weekend. So keep the allergy medication close at hand as the sunshine continues to rain down a beautiful live look out over the Riverview Bank camera in Vancouver. That's where our temperatures are flirting with 70 degrees right now. Expecting to get back up into the mid 70s later this afternoon. I do expect some of us to climb up into the low 80s as those sunny skies continue to rain down a lot of that sunshine here in the next several hours. After a bit of a cloudier start for the Willamette Valley, but those clouds starting to decrease just the same out along the coast, but likely going to start to see a few building cumulonimbus clouds out over the high terrain of the Cascades as the thunderstorm activity is already starting to ramp up just to the east of the Cascades. Eastern sections of Oregon, Washington already starting to pick up on those lightning strikes, seeing a total of 23 of them within just about the past hour or so. This comes off the heels of what we expect as a below normal precip trend over the next six to 10 days for much of the Pacific Northwest. That less than ideal is the below normal rain accumulation for the month of June in Portland sits at just a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. We've only seen a handful of days with the wet weather amounting to about an inch and a quarter so far. And that also comes as the summer heat really begins to build over the next week, week and a half or so. Many of our temperatures expected to climb about 10 to 15 degrees above what's normal this time of year. Normal being 77 and that puts our average daytime high temperature at about three degrees above normal for this time of year. Now we experience cooler conditions today, low 80s, all thanks to this upper level low pressure system, but a ridge of high pressure is building off to the west. It's going to help drive the jet stream further to the north, helping to usher in those summer like temperatures just in time for the week's end into the the weekend and eventually the beginning of next week. But here's a few of those bubble up thunderstorms primarily going to be in towards the Cascades of Washington, not likely to start to form over the high terrain of the Cascades in Oregon, but nonetheless, it's still a very real potential as that fog and cloud layer develops once again for the start of the day on Wednesday. The sunshine taking over by the mid morning hours that will get us back up into the low 80s for the I-5 quarter for parts of the gorge and also seeing those 50s and 60s out along the coast as we expect to hold on to those sunny skies with a bit of a cloudier start to the day, but that will help to keep those overnight lows on the comfortable side falling back into the 50s as we expect to hit about 80 degrees this afternoon. Mostly sunny skies with winds out the north northwest at about 5 to 10. Expect to fall back into the mid, if not upper 50s. Maybe crack open the window, let some fresh air in this evening as we expect to see the summer heat continue to build. But you'll also notice that we start to move into our summer drying period over the next week. No rain in the forecast, so we will be lucky that we actually picked up on a few raindrops so far this month as the Blues Festival is going to be toasty out there. Mm -hmm. But at least Saturday, 86, that's manageable. We can handle it. We can handle that. It's a great start to the Blues Fest. That it is. All right, thank you. We'll be right back.